So we are in West Orange, New Jersey. We moved here about two years ago. I'm a teacher. I met my husband when I was 35, turning 36. We decided in the beginning we would just let things happen and see how long it takes for us to get pregnant naturally. Surprisingly, we got pregnant right away, probably within two months of being married. And sadly, within weeks, it turned out it was an ectopic pregnancy. We were at two other clinics previously. We only retrieved, I believe, two embryos. Both transfers um, led to chemical pregnancies. So we did two more retrievals, and every transfer led to early pregnancy losses. We moved to RMA New Jersey. We met with Dr. Ryback immediately. My husband felt very comfortable, I felt very comfortable, and he understands all the halakha or the beliefs and all the procedures that go along with doing IVF and being um, observant Jewish. Something I loved about RMA was every time I saw a doctor, it wasn't like this history conversation. Some doctors that I went to, every single time I saw them, why do I have, you have my charts, everything's there, you shouldn't make me talk about this all, over and over again. And it's never the case at RMA. At RMA, I told my story the first time I met with Dr. Ryback, a team was set up. Never again did I have to go through like the nightmare of describing every single pregnancy. We planned on a, our fourth and final retrieval, and I have to say it was the best retrieval we've ever had. 14 eggs, and of the seven that fertilized, three of them were healthy embryos. When we moved to Dr. Ryback, we discovered other issues that were probably causing all of those chemical pregnancies along the way. I had something called endometritis, which I had never heard of, and it was discovered that I had a heart-shaped uterus. He was even shocked. He's like, how many people have seen your uterus and nobody has figured this out in how many years? Since then, we've had two miracles. So my boys are extremely active. They love to play outside. I love to sit down and read with my kids. Eitan could read books for well over an hour if I let him. He just wants, loves hearing stories. Ezra is just the sweetest baby. He is so cuddly and he's not talking yet, but he definitely communicates and gets his point across. I feel it's really important to share your story. I think it's really important for people to see that we struggled for so long and have a beautiful family now. And we are considering trying for a third. It's really nice to know that we have such amazing doctors and nurses who are cheering us on if we do decide to go down that route.